the best dietary approach to holistically deal with PCOS symptoms, polycystic ovarian syndrome. I'm Marissa Fay. I'm a hormone and gut health expert. I help women with conditions just like PCOS every single day in my course, The Balanced Hormone Blueprint, and my private one-on-one -on -one virtual practice. The first thing you need to know about PCOS is that there is a very strong link between this health issue and blood sugar regulation. The good news is blood sugar regulation can really be improved by the food that lands on your plate, how often you are eating it, your stress management habits and relationship to stress, and your toxin exposure. It's much less of a kind of traditional hormone issue that we think about in menstruating women where we're looking at just estrogen and progesterone. Those two matter and they get pulled into things when something like PCOS is going on, but insulin is actually the hormone we want to be most concerned about here. The base dietary approach that I tend to teach everybody who I work with who's dealing with hormone issues because it truly is that solid of an approach is every time that you eat to include a high quality animal protein, a starchy gluten-free carbohydrate, and produce. If you're having a lot of digestive symptoms, I highly recommend that your produce in the form of vegetables is always cooked. And fruit tends to be okay. Make sure when you sit down to eat that you start your meal either with your non-starchy veg or your protein source. And of course, make sure there's a little bit of healthy fat along at that party. That's fat from a fruit source or an animal source. I go way in depth on this in the Balanced Hormone Blueprint and women are working on things like PCOS every day in there. Do you want to hear which dietary approaches I'm not a fan of when it comes to this health issue? Drop a PCOS in the comments and I'll respond.